and welcome! In this tutorial we are going to use our first function in the text blob. So looking at our worksheet we're gonna use blob.words and we're gonna actually have a play and see what we can do with that word list, what it's good for and what are its limitations. Now you may be wondering why are we recreating something that we've already created in our word list. Um, and the reason is, firstly, I wanted to make sure that you guys could write functions of this nature on your own. And secondly, this module does have some limitations, as you're about to see. So let's create the blob. So because we already have text blob here, we can just say blob equals the text blob of whatever the text is. And the text is the entire book. And we can now try to print blob dot words and as you can see nothing happens so inherently by feeding it something with I don't know like a hundred thousand words like a book um it doesn't print so what if we took a subsection of that book so let's say text equals to just for the sake of testing it just goes 0 to 200 so the first 200 characters of the book let's see if this is going to work All right great um and i don't know what the upper limit is but i'm pretty sure 20000 is going to work yes we can maybe yeah so there you have it. It's um, printing this much. 20,000 is like uh, 2,000 word essay is a big essay at uni. So 20,000 is like 10 big essays. But there you have it. That is the list. And you don't want to overload idle by having to print this much. In the future, in the next module, we'll be using PyCharm anyway. And I found PyCharm a little bit more robust with this printing. But for the sake of argument, we're going to take just the first um, 2,000 characters. And that's going to be our list. We're also going to make sure that doo -doo -doo, the type of this is a list. And it could be some special class, which is the same as a list, but not technically a list. Let's have a look. Class. Yeah, it's essentially a word list and it's something that exists within the blob itself. I will now restart the um, shell window because that was kind of slow. And I'll have a look at what it is that we can do with this word list. So you can literally go and use blob.words as if it were a list variable. So just like for, you could say something like this, for word in blob dot words print word you can print one word at a time Zoom. and you can now this word is a small string variable for any um any word in there so it's like you can just mess around with it and say Ooh. you know like if character X in word then you can print the word Alexander e text Alexander extensively there you have it so there it is that is the text blob function for creating a word list strictly speaking it is not a word list. Um, I'm pretty sure that you can like do something like word list equals to blob dot words. And then maybe you can just say word list equals to list of that word list and we'll find out right now if actually 
blob.words is convertible to a standard Python list. So, um, and then we can finally doo -doo -doo, print type word list. Yeah, so you can totally, they're interchangeable. Essentially, like a text blob list is the same as a Python list. You could literally convert it to a Python list and there's no issues with that at all. Excellent. See you guys in the next tutorial.